It all started with my desire to have a real, real good, like, down-to-earth Brazilian meal. Meal? Meal, yeah. I wanted to come to Brazil and wanted to eat some really, really good Brazilian food. And I just mainly didn't want to be a tourist. And I'm thinking, what's wrong with being a tourist? Let's relax. Work on the gram a little bit. Maybe go see Jesus. It's called vacation. She wants to go here. Hocinha, the largest favela in Brazil. So in one 24 hour period, we went from this to this. but I've always been really intrigued at the same time. And um, I thought if there's a way to have an authentic experience, then maybe setting up some sort of service experience, maybe that's the way to do it. I, I figured we would meet some people and maybe make some friendships and get to see kind of a closer view of the culture. So Sonny got in touch with Community in Action who provides all kinds of volunteer opportunities in Rio. Everything from teaching English to entrepreneurial skills to painting murals. Community in Action connected us with this man, Soka. He partners with Community in Action in curating art projects in Hosina. This city is super Since he was 13 up to 50 something, he was always working for others. He got paid little and he felt like a, a, a slave basically. Like nothing that he was doing gave him fulfillment. And so he's in this phase of life where he's really actively trying to push this idea that art cures people. about to take us to show us this space. They're planning to renovate it and make it into this art center. This is like the, a really big part of his program, his dream, is to have this art center. It's going to be an exhibition space where the local artists can show their work. There's going to be classes for kids and youth, um, different types of art, art programs here. But we just met an artist actually who just walked by, who's one of the, the many, he said, who are just like super antsy, they're so excited for this place to open because there's gonna be a real art gallery for them to, to show their work and like have a legitimate, legitimate place for it. E, e sempre acreditei no poder da arte. E sempre acreditei no poder. Né? Até então não sabia o quanto ela era poderosa. Né? É, só vivendo e... E há dois, há dois anos atrás, por exemplo, é, o meu filho que sempre é, lido com a arte, com, com a cultura e tal. Quero te encontrar amanhã e falar um pouco que eu senti. Ele foi, ele, ele é vocalista de uma banda e foi cantar no Rock in Rio. E nesse dia a Rocinha estava em guerra. Eu fui pro show, mas eu não consegui ficar feliz no show. Fiquei satisfeito, mas não, não consegui ficar feliz porque eu sabia que aqui dentro é, a bala estava comendo solto, era tiro, 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 e, e, e essa guerra nos trouxe malefícios assim, é, irreparáveis. Fantasia se mistura com o mundo real. Oh, 
Essa guerra, ela deixou as crianças da Rocinha traumatizadas, muitas crianças. Tem jovens hoje suicidas. Na PUC, a universidade que tem aqui embaixo, tem o SPA de psicologia, que não tem vaga para as crianças da Rocinha, de tanta criança traumatizada. E hoje, a única forma que eu vejo da gente conseguir minimizar essas dores é com arte, com arte e esporte. Não vejo outro, outra saída, não vejo, não tem. Eu hoje carrego comigo né, essa certeza. É, não sei o nome que se dá, pode ser uma filosofia, pode ser, mas é uma certeza do poder de cura que a arte tem. É, por ter vivido isso, porque eu fui curado pela arte. Eu fui... Tem pente de trinta com rajada Carinho na vez eu tô no tiro bola Quando eu tava sem chave de casa Isso não é coisa divertida, não E não tem a ver com a tua vida, não Eles matam preto todo dia, assim Eles devem ser da tua família, assim Isso não é coisa divertida, não E não tem a ver com a tua vida, não Eles matam preto todo dia, assim Eles devem ser da tua família, assim from toddlers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did have a lot of children. They call me Chia because they don't know my name. That means aunt. It's like aunt, auntie. Aquara? Miss. Maybe this is something that I can do to have him help me. She's, yeah. She's relentless, this one. some power lines that are like directly above me where I'm painting and I felt the splat. Oh yeah, it looks I yummy. Felt the splat in my it hair. It looks delicious. <laughs> after a day of working in the favela. People think making art is all rock star and glamorous. They do? I don't know. They... What hurts? What hurts right now? Oh, my eyes because they want to sleep so bad, and my feet, and my, maybe a little bit of my, my maroon sunburn. 